Hello YouTube. I'm going to be talking about the books I have for the Mac, which is an emulator for old DOS games. DOS games are before Windows XP came out. That was the operating system's code for working with Windows DOS. Um, it's quite good that I know of because it allows you to import old games that were either on the CD-ROMs or a disk image that you've got and save to your computer from them. Um, if you want the game, it is at boxerapp.com and this is the web page that you'll come to. Uh, download it and then install it onto your Mac. And these are games that I've got in my directory for my DOS games. Boxer. But you come up with like four demo games that you have. That's the Commander Keen for Epic Pinball Demo, Underworld Demo, XCOM Demo, I think. And these two here, SWAS 9697, that's a game that I've imported. And SWAS 9697 LE, that's one I've imported as well. I'm going to show you how to install your game. Uh, when you start the Boxer app, it doesn't exactly go and play a game. It comes up with this if you want to import a game, browse your games, or open a DOS prompt. To I'm not too sure how to do that, but I think that's to open a game or import one, or make it a slight adjustments to games. I've never done it myself. I've just imported it, but this is the page that you'll come to when you have your games loaded in here but it's not on your side taskbar usually it's not so you would have to go to your uh, iMac or that's what I've got an iMac you go to computer you go to your Macintosh HD you go to your users and then you go to your user pain and here it is then you drag and drop it elsewhere here and that's what you get that's if you want it in your task pane well your sidebar I call it a task pane because I'm from Windows I've only had a Mac for about two years so I'm still learning when you've got one you go to import game right and I shall show you I've already got one game loaded into it that's the two that I've got but I'm going to show you again because I've only got the one CD ROM game that I like which is Sensible World of Soccer you drag and drop your CD image or your disc image into the drop your game here and it'll come up, it'll scan the game for the install file and it'll search now my game has audio on it so I can import it into iTunes so if iTunes loads it's only because it knows that it's got a soundtrack on it once it's found the install click launch installer and it'll ask you where you want to load it load it into it doesn't matter where you say you want it to be loaded into because it will mimic what a windows machine will do this is the setup process for sensible world of soccer
doesn't matter where you say you want it to go it'll load it into that directory but it'll always put the game into the DOS games folder so you don't have to search for it once that's done it'll come up to uh, in the next window which will say relaunch installer that's if you think you've made a mistake and you want to do it again or if you want to configure it to have sound on I think that's how most games say that they need sound to play I think but once you've done that and you've configured it in the installer game as it usually does you click finish important and it will search the disk for all the files for the game And here we are you can see that we've got a new game here saying untitled if your game disk has got a name on it it'll say that itself it'll name it upon your image file and you'll need to have your game folders image to put into the next stage of the install of your game because I don't know how to do it once it's been put onto your shelf in your DOS games I don't know how to alter it to show you image so you need to have your image beforehand if you want it by a square image it has to be 500 by 500 pixels And here we are. When you've got your game image from the box that you've scanned or from a, a booklet, you would then drag and drop it into the image, the CD image, sorry. So let's put that there. It's a bit too big. There we are. And then it'll come. Now once you've installed it, your game, it'll come up with these options down here for you to do. If you haven't got any sound and you want to go back and configure your sound, it'll go back to that. That's if it's got sound executable file in it. And then you, if you want to just play the game and not worry about the sound, you can just start it. It'll ask you 
would you like to launch this file every time if your game starts? If you want to, you can just click this and it'll start the game straight off. If not, just press not now. And every time it'll load, it'll ask you, what would you like to do? Here we are. It's asking me what I would like to do. That's all. Thank you.